In this video, I will explain characteristic polynomial and minimal polynomial of a matrix. I will take n by n matrix A and I be the identity matrix of order n. Then characteristic polynomial of A is denoted as delta of t and defined as determinant of t i minus A. Here t i always should come first, A next. In the case of characteristic equation, you can either write ti minus a or a minus ti, but both will give you the same answer. In the case of characteristic polynomial, because it doesn't contain equal to 0, you have to specify it as determinant of ti minus a. So that is same as minus 1 to the power n into determinant of a minus ti. Now this is different when n is even and n is odd. If uh, a is of order even, even order, then it is a positive of de determinant of a minus ti. If n is of odd order, then it is minus of determinant of a minus ti. This is how we define characteristic polynomial of a given matrix A. Now, minimal polynomial of A means it is the monic polynomial. I will de denote the minimal polynomial of A as m of t characteristic polynomial as delta t. It is the monic polynomial. Monic polynomial means the coefficient of highest degree term must be equal to 1. So if it is a for example quadratic polynomial then the coefficient of t square should be equal to 1. Cubic polynomial means the coefficient of t cube should be equal to 1. So that is what the meaning of monic polynomial m of t which is of lowest degree this is the condition for which m of a equal to 0. And the best way to identify monic polynomial is that it always divides characteristic polynomial. m of t divides characteristic polynomial. And also m of t and delta of t have same irreducible factor. You know that linear factors are always irreducible. You can't further split linear factors into more factors. Hence m of t and delta of t must contain same linear factors. I will explain you with examples. Consider this example. Consider a matrix A equal to 5, 1, 3, 7. Now first let us find out the characteristic polynomial that is determinant of Ti minus A. So that is determinant of, first let us find out the matrix Ti minus A. Ti means identity matrix of order 2 to be multiplied with T. T, 0, 0, T minus then 5, 1, 3, 7. This gives you gives you determinant of t minus 5 here it is minus 1 then it is minus 3 then t minus 7 corresponding you know, t minus 5 0 minus 1 minus 1 0 minus 3 minus 3 t minus 7 you have to find out the determinant of this matrix that is cross multiply and t minus 5 into t minus 7 plus here it is actually minus this is minus then minus 3 into minus 1 that is plus 3 so this gives you t square minus 5t minus 70 12t plus 35 minus 3 that is 32 so we will get a t square minus factorize this minus 4t plus 32 this is equal to t, t into t minus 8 minus 4 into t minus 8. That gives you t minus 8 into t minus 4. This is the characteristic polynomial of the given matrix A, delta of t. Now, to find the minimal polynomial m of t, so it is a monic polynomial is a monic polynomial of lowest degree for which m of a equal to 0 and the more, one more conditions to remember is m of t always divides delta of t m of t and delta of t have same irreducible factors these two are linear factors linear factors are always irreducible 
because you can't further split them into smaller factors. Therefore, delta of t and m of t should have same linear factors. Therefore, t minus 8 should be in m of t, t minus 4 should be in m of t. So, this is the minimal polynomial of the given matrix. As the characteristic polynomial contains only linear factors, if it has only linear, linear factors, then m of t and delta of t should be same. They are equal. Here we got equal characteristic polynomial and minimal polynomial. Similarly, the second example, consider the matrix B equal. So, there is a formula to find out a characteristic polynomial directly which is t square minus trace of a. One method is this determinant of ti minus a. Trace of a into t plus determinant of here now in this case b. Okay, this is equal to t square minus trace of a is sum of diagonal elements 4 plus 2 that is a 6 t plus determinant of b 8 minus of minus 1 that is a 9 so we will get it as a t minus 3 square this is the characteristic polynomial now the characteristic polynomial now it is not just having linear factor it has a quadratic factor in the earlier example it had only linear factors hence m of t was equal to delta of t here now in this case you can directly write in the previous case but in this case m of t may be equal to delta of t linear factors only linear factors exist then m of t equal to delta of t if quadratic factors exist then we cannot say that they are not equal they can be equal let us uh, find out that delta of t is t minus 3 whole square now m of t is what it is the monic polynomial there anyway coefficient of highest degree already one and other conditions the lowest degree for which m of a equal to zero so the possible options for m of t are one is t minus 3 or m of t is t minus 3 whole square this is because m of t should always divide the characteristic polynomial so t minus 3 divides t minus 3 square and t minus 3 whole square also divides t minus 3 whole square you have to list out the divisors of a characteristic polynomial first now out of these two these are these two are the possible divisors here which is a monic polynomial and of lowest degree out of these two this is the polynomial of lowest degree but still we can't conclude it as minimal polynomial you have to check one more condition is m of a equal to 0 that is is a minus 3i equal to 0 or or m of a here is equal to that is a minus 3i whole square equal to 0 for which a is a root of that polynomial that we have to check. So, find out A minus 3 into i. So, A is uh, 4 minus 1, 1, 2, 4 minus 1, 1, 2 and uh, 3i is 3, 0, 0, 3. Then we will get 4 minus 3, it is uh, 1. You can stop here itself. It is not equal to the 0 matrix. Therefore, you have to try the next a minus 3i whole square that is a minus 3i multiplied twice so let me find out a minus 3i here which gives you minus 1 1 minus 0 1 2 minus 3 minus 1 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 so this is a minus 3i multiply it once again what will you get this One minus one, one minus one into one minus one, one minus one. Gives you first row, first column. One minus one, this zero. One the minus one, minus of minus plus one, zero. One minus one, zero. Minus one, minus of minus plus one. It is zero. So it gives you a zero matrix. Therefore, the first uh, possibility which is t minus 3 this is the first possibility 
though it is of lowest degree still i can't take this as minimal polynomial that is because uh, m of a is not equal to 0 a is not root of this linear polynomial whereas though it is of more degree compared to this uh, but it satisfies the monic polynomial condition and it satisfies um, m of a as its root therefore in this case monic polynomial equal to t minus 3 whole square so in this case also monic polynomial equal to characteristic polynomial in all the cases where uh, characteristic polynomial is a quadratic polynomial this need not happen but in this case it is happening that delta of t equal to m of t but if you have li only linear factors then always delta of t equal to m of t so i hope you understood how to get the minimal polynomial now similarly we will uh, find out minimal polynomial for the character uh, the 3 by 3 matrix first let us find out the characteristic polynomial now the shortcut uh, to find out the characteristic polynomial for 3 by 3 matrix is t cube minus trace of a into t square plus a11 plus a22 plus a33 into t minus determinant of a z determinant of a that's it this characteristic polynomial now this equal to t cube minus trace of a is sum of diagonal elements 2 plus 7 minus 4 9 minus 4 is 5 into t square plus a11 delete first row first column you will get this 2 by 2 determinant find out the value of this 2 by 2 determinant 7 to minus 4 minus 28 plus 30 this 2 plus delete second row second column minus 8 plus 5 minus 3 plus third row third column 14 minus 6 which is 8 into t minus determinant of a is 3 so by deleting by expanding the given determinant along the first row i got the value as 3 now i have to simplify this t cube minus 5t square uh, plus 70 minus 3 I have to check what are the possible factors of this cubic polynomial. I will go with the synthetic division method. So I have to check is 1 a root. Write this one as it is. I have to check is 1 a root. 1 1 is a 1 minus 4. Minus 4 into 1 minus 4. 3. 3 into 1. 3. Yes. 1 is a root of this uh, polynomial. Therefore, I will get the factors t minus 1 is one of the factor then t square minus 4t plus 3 so this is a quadratic uh, polynomial t minus 1 into simplify this we will get t minus 3 into t minus 1 so this is t minus 1 whole square into t minus 3 this is the characteristic polynomial of the given matrix this is how we found the characteristic polynomial now to find minimal polynomial of t the possible options are this contains t minus 1 whole square into t minus 3 you know that every characteristic polynomial and minimal polynomial must have same linear factors so linear factors are t minus 1 t minus 3 another m of t is equal to t minus 1 t minus 3 these are the linear factors of the given characteristic polynomial they should be there in the minimal polynomial now it is a polynomial which divides the characteristic polynomial therefore this is one option where m of t divides delta of t another option is t minus 1 whole square into t minus 3 another option because this also divides delta of t these are the two possibilities for the minimal polynomial except these two you don't have any other because uh, linear factors must be there in minimal polynomial other than that this quadratic po factor is also one possible way because as it divides delta of t now the next thing is it is a monic polynomial and of lowest degree and of uh, 
m of a equal to 0. So it is here both are monic polynomials. Out of these two, lowest degree is of this. We have to check is m of a equal to 0. Let us do it for the first one. m of a equal to a minus i. Substitute t equal to a. a minus 3 into i. This is equal to a minus i means from the diagonal elements we have to subtract 1. 2 minus 1, 1. 2 minus 5, 3. 7 minus 1, 6. Minus 15. 1, 2. Minus 4, minus 1, minus 5 into here 2 minus 3 minus 1 2 minus 5 3 7 minus 3 4 minus 15 1 2 minus 7 now you have to multiply these two and you have to check is equal is it equal to zero matrix then a is the root of this polynomial so first row first column here 1 minus 1 plus 3 to the 6 minus 5. So minus 6 plus 6 it is 0. Similarly, first row second column 2 plus 4 to the 8 that is 10 minus 10 that is also 0. Then minus 5 minus 30 minus 35 plus 35 that is also 0. You can continue like this. You, you can see that every entry equal to 0. That means A is the root of this polynomial. Therefore, it is monic, it is of low, out of these two, this is of lowest degree for which m of a equal to 0. As a minus i whole square into a minus 3, for this also, it is equal to 0. Because a minus i into a minus 3i already equal to 0 means, one more a minus i, this also satisfies the equation m of, m of a equal to 0. But it is not of lowest degree. So this is a monic polynomial, lowest degree and a is a root. Hence, m of t equal to t minus 1 into t minus 3 is the minimal polynomial of the given matrix. This is how we find the minimal polynomial and characteristic polynomial of the given matrix. I hope you understood. Thank you for watching.